I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly... I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, Stop pretending? Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. 
I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. do any work. Only when Cole was around. <laughs> what is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. 
I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years unofficially now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. So... No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, alright? 
I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. the door open. Crane? Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. Same brand we found in the open arms. Message. Dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Might be 
be useful. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. All right? Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? That's not something you need to know. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathemagician, but I know 2 plus 2 is 5, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Oh, this is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match either. <clears throat> How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. 
If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on! Dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. That it? Big B? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. <sighs> of course. Because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find them. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> 